untrained eye. A place where the metal of warriors, the uninitiated, and the forgotten are tested. It is here, within these walls, where your true purpose can be found. As if waking from a dream, you find yourself standing in a massive room. The walls curve outward and away from you, as if racing towards infinite possibilities. Before you is a path that slopes upwards to the top of a stone pyramid. A faint bluish hue can be seen emanating from it. Your feet seem to move forward on their own. You are unsure of what is at the top, what causes this light, but somehow trust it. A growing confidence building in your gut is telling you that you are meant to be. At the top, a triangular device sits silently on the floor. It appears to be hewn from a strange metal. Briefly, small traces of light sparkle across the surface, akin to an unclouded starlit night. The path stops over the center of the device, and that is where you choose to stand. Suddenly and silently, the device begins to move. The bluish hue of the top begins to fade as all light seems to fade from existence. You find yourself drawn to looking upward as the last remaining light dwindles. Suddenly, a flash! You feel swept off your feet as lights and colors of black, blues, and purples come pouring into the room from a singular point above you. Marvelous images of constellations, galaxies, and planets trail over your skin as the room seems to stretch and bend. Lightning shoots above and within these images as everything lights up. And then another flash! You find yourself on board a mighty vessel. The name Chosen's Gaze emerges in your mind as you walk to a nearby viewport. You're in space! Among stars never named, planets undominated, and stories untold. But amidst all this majesty, there is one jewel that catches your eye. A massive orb-like coliseum in the distance, shrouded in greenery, circled by winged creatures lazily gliding about. Waterfalls of endless trail head off the edge and seemingly disappear among the stars. It is here your ship is headed. It is here where you begin to hear the footsteps of many moving about, the rising cheers and boasts of others. Welcome! A voice can be heard rising in your mind. Many questions you may have. Many doubts may slow your step. But here, all are equal. Join your voice with others. Raise them in a mighty chorus and write your own story of triumph. Welcome to the Infinite Causeway.
Happy holidays. Happy Sunday, everybody. I hope you all had some good rest. I hope you all will be spending this time in comfort, with peace, and with those that you love and care about. And also, just here, having a good time. Happy holidays and preemptive Happy New Year, everyone. It is a pleasure to be here with you. It is fantastic to be here. Final stream of 2023. And what a year as far as the Twitch side is concerned. Having a blast, making memories with all of you. Playing a variety of different games. Having a little hiatus. Coming back stronger than ever with renewed purpose for the future. And just each and every one of you being so much of the reason coming back and making this all worth it i hope you all have some fantastic uh resolutions in mind for next year even if you don't i hope that there are things falling into place steps that you'll be able to take to maintain your safety your health and your peace so that 2024 can be a better year for all of us Today, we're going to be focusing on Once Human. I did an impromptu bonus stream late last night, early this morning, for about two, three hours. I think it was. I think I started playing around like 3 a.m. Uh, Saturday morning. A uh, lot of fun. Got into the closed beta. I believe it ends on the 21st. I don't think. 21st of January, that is. I don't think I will be streaming it through the 21st, 20, 21st, but at least for this week, we will be getting into this and uh, trying trying as much as I can of the different things and varieties and stuff that's, that's offered. Uh, leveling up the character, leveling up our world, seeing all that what's available to be played in this beta so far, both from gameplay as well as getting my hands on it myself. It seems like it's going to be a fantastic game, at least for myself. It is scratching all the itches. It's open world, uh, gunplay, crafting, world building. Uh, you've got your PVE. You've got the option for PVP. It's like it's separated to where you can choose and how you can go about it. You can run party of one. There's communities or war bands that that are possible. Learning it kind of as as I go along. Both because there are still so many things that I'm learning. As a PC player, as well as now, you know, having a hobby as a content creator and learning different ways, how to stay on top of company information, how to reach out to find more information and things like that. Hopefully there will be some other games uh, coming down the pipeline that I'll be able to get a hold of to show you all. But as for right now, I hope you all enjoy uh, Once Human. Definitely something that you should keep an eye on. Make sure that you follow them on uh, Twitter. Check out gameplay if you haven't seen it already. Or if you are interested in learning more about it on YouTube, I think they even have a, a Facebook as well. But I've been having a lot of fun with it so far. And it's really great because at least for me and my gameplay, both with loot hoarding and turtling, that uh, it, it's a great outlet to where it can be like, oh, OK, so I couldn't do this that time. I'm going to get these resources and try and survive and build up and then come back. Uh, stronger than ever or with at least a better chance to survive. So that's what we're going to be doing for the streams for today, Tuesday, Thursday, and more than likely Saturday. And as things progress through the week, uh, depending on how much content there is, how much content we get there will dictate what what happens by the time we get to we get to Thursday's stream. And then, of course, if anything else comes up uh, during that as well. Otherwise, it's going to be business as usual when we rotate back around for the uh, words for, for next week. But yeah, 
So kick back, relax. I hope you enjoy yourselves. This should be a hell of a lot of fun. I'm very much looking forward to it. And very excited to see what other stuff that we we get to. I did a little bit of offline play before leaving for a family dinner the other night yesterday. So there there'll be there'll be a few things that might be a wee a wee bit different. But otherwise I stayed away from I stayed away from anything major. So don't worry about that if you all have missed out on any of that. So let's let's beam down from the ship and let's get into some trouble. Starting up the shield. So if y'all remember from the VOD or people that caught it on the live that uh, we were working to, I was trying to get a, the handle on and understand more how your your base building went. To understand that better, and uh, it de definitely because the the way it pans out is once you get through the first part of the tutorial spot, you're you're left out in open, and you have to find somewhere to set up your camp. But it's it's not just you. There's a bunch of other people, so it's trying to find somewhere that is there's room for you to set up camp. So you kind of have to do a little wandering. Like the, the later you get into it, the the more you're going to have to wander to try to give yourself enough space. I'm probably, even though I got a nice little like lakeside spot, I'm probably going to end up having to move because it looks like you can do farming and stuff like that. So I don't think I'm going to have enough space, but but we'll see. Right, right now I got it set up. We got a nice little three level. Y'all see once we're able to load in. And uh, and I, I like it. I like it a lot. Got a couple couple weapons. I think what else is there? Once we once we load in, I'll be able to visually show you all what we've got going so far, and then it'll be heading out. Got to look at to see what kind of quest log we have here in the game. Kind of help figure out where to go. Unless it's kind of like very, very little hand holding. And figure out, I wonder if you can get back to that house to look at your butterfly to make sure that they're they're happy. I would hate to be missing out on some some mechanic that could be screwing myself over or lead to failure. All right, here we go. Look at this house, y'all. Look at this. This is the main floor. Let's start up at the top real quick. So if you remember, we just had like three planks down on the ground. Everybody out here has uh, definitely been up upgrading very quickly. Like this spot right here. When I when I first came in was just uh, a campsite, which I wish I had had both there before I realized that there was all this extra stuff that you could do. This one, this one was new. Someone had put up a campsite there for the other time, and then other people those are newer started moving further out. That's kind of smart having a little outside ring to uh to run around i need to figure out how to do th this piping to go from the rain collectors to the uh to the containment there oh actually let me ask real quick and see But yeah, so this is the, the upper level. I haven't done much of anything here, but this this is where the rain collection happened, which thankfully also happens when you're when you're offline. This is our our water bucket. 
right now I've just been putting this stuff in manually. Um, and then we've got we've got the roof up here. I would like to get up, please. Excuse me. Excuse me. I used to be able to get up here real easy. Oh, okay. There's nothing up there. But yeah, so got the little separate spot there. It took me it took me a minute. It was cool getting to learn how all that stuff works. I'm a little worried. Hopefully this is just bugginess and not like showing disrepair or something like that. Oh, maybe it is. Something, something must be going on. I need to go down and check. So we got we got Gator Boy down here. Every so often he pops in to cause problems. I have to use my my bow. What's up, Chalky? How you doing? Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Wait, okay, somebody answered. Gotta press V to connect pipes and building menu. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Hope you've been doing well. Let's see, yeah, structure is decaying. All, all of this is falling apart. The question is why? Because I had repaired a bunch of this stuff before the last time that I was on. Okay, we'll do the floor first. Insane serving uh, two game. Oh, damn. Did you get in a fight? The heck happened? I can interact with details. Okay, I need five more copper and I can repair everything. Maintain daily consumption. Okay, so I need to make sure I got a crap ton of, uh, crap ton of stuff. Let's see what's in the mail. We just got a letter. Respawn point deleted. Respawn point has been deleted due to overload. I don't know what that means. Let's just go ahead and make 20. Maybe a minute 40. Uh, I don't have... Can't make anything new just yet. We're pretty set up right now. Let's see, do we have... Let's see, tasks. Eve of Evolution. Complete the log in the territory terminal. 
Collect maintenance materials, put the territory back in operation. And then we got the treasure infinite. Search around for notes. Collect maintenance materials and put the territory back into operation. Is that like my territory? I'm confused. Jim got a little rough. One of their players spat in my face. Damn! When I told him it was disgusting behavior, he grabbed my helmet to try and pull me down. So I clipped my helmet, and my helmet hit him, and I punched him. He was, <laughs> he was snoring, got ejected from the game. Got two game banned for hitting him with my helmet. That stuff always irks me how, like, reacting, not overreacting, just like reacting to someone's shitty behavior gets the person that reacted in trouble. Did anything happen to the dude that spit in your face? It's like, damn, you ain't, you ain't gonna punish him too? Details, repair, repair all. Oh my god, now the charcoal. Two minute penalty? That is wild. I'm not sure what the 16 means. I don't know if that means like that's their level, like their level 16. It might be because they're rocking a helmet and pants that I think are the upgraded form of what I have. They're playing dirty the whole game. That's wild. Are you going to be playing that team again? Okay, let's try this again. Daily consumption. Does that mean... Material depot. Deposit materials here to maintain your territory and keep it functioning. Okay, so let's give... 350. Put some. I have the wood upstairs in in a safe because it, it's not that hard to come by wood. And then we'll give all the wood, and then the the issue will just be getting copper. But I have a crap ton of copper. do good job setting up our territory it's nice to have a place of our own 
even if it is a bit bare bones. Maybe basic, but it's a good starting point. The more we discover out there and the more power we gain, the more we'll be able to build. In time, we'll make it feel like home. I hope so. I assume there are still some towns left. Some. After the devouring, the survivors eventually banded together and formed small settlements. If I remember right, the nearest settlement from here is a place called Deadsville. Sounds inviting. I wouldn't go expecting the height of luxury, but it should be a good place to dig up useful info in the area, and maybe scrounge some materials. The cradle will guide you to task locations. Press M to open the world map, choose a task via the task menu, then click right trigger to display the task location on the world map. They will be indicated by a solid pin on the world map. Details will be shown in the task information display on the upper left corner of the main game screen. All right, so there's Deadsville. And we got Treasure Infinite. We got level 11, level 15. Level 3 recommended, Overlook Town. Teleportation Tower. Mola Island. Probably go do this. Okay, so that should hold out for 15 days with what I have right now. The next thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that the settlement is able to defend itself. Your first game back, you're going to be up against them? Jeez. How's the how's the team been doing? Because you, last time we talked a few hours back, you had a few new people, right? Remember there was the, there was the one dude who like just got in because they knew people. And I think y'all finally were able to get rid of him, right? Then there was, uh, did you have a, like a second new person? I'm trying to remember. My apologies if there's some details that I forget. Food wise, we need some stuff. Okay. Let's, uh, there's no water. Let me get some. Might as well start off strong here, so. Damn, all my food spoiled. No longer safe to eat. Shit. I'll have a canned lunch meat then. Minus 200 sanity. Oh, well, they've improved some things over here. They made the side of their tower. Uh, they got in the white wallpaper. And the steps up here that used to be open. It's like they've added a little extra place, put some windows in. I like that they have that, because they could have very easily just been like, nah, it's about combat. Like, you just figure it out. But the fact that you already have this open world, you've got this big story, you've got all these different enemies, and then on top of that, they're like, but also, by the way, you can build your own settlement. Like, I love games like this. And I'm, you know, I'm not sure off the top of my head if this is going to be... Free to play with microtransactions or um, you pay up front and then maybe micro because it's net ease. And I believe they're the ones that are like one of the companies that are behind games or working along with like like it's games from the east. So you know like your Lost Arks, your your Black Deserts. Usually, I feel like Korean games, Japanese games, Chinese games, either like gotcha, but it's usually like very rich in the storytelling. Damn, it's been a while since I've looked at it from the outside. That don't look bad. We cleaned up nice. Look at that. 
Look at that house. Look at this house. This house looks nice. Uh, hold on. Let's give some more wood. Eight hundred. Yeah, because this one seventy four logs daily. So I can get a crap ton of copper, but the wood will probably end up going. Wood or copper will be a toss up as to what goes first. As long as they get like, you know, stable for the servers and stuff like that. So you don't have a little bit of this tearing, which I feel like in some ways is to be expected. But also at the same point, at least for me, always makes me nervous because I'm like, oh, crap. So I'm getting ready to fail. We just want to set this up so that I can travel without worry that the house is going to come falling apart. Because I'm not sure if it's in-game days or real-life days that it counts. It'd be fantastic if it was real-life days. Because I feel like the in-game days, they go... They go kind of quick. This house I've been really impressed with. These, well, and that one too. They are fortunate to set up there on the on the cliff side. It's nice as well because not only do you have the ability to build out in your space, but you can move your territory as well. So you're not locked in, which is also smart and really helps prevent future issues. Because you can just have it to be like, well, hold on a second. I didn't realize that I wasn't going to have enough space for all of this, and then you get screwed, you know? Your first place was 16 wins. Hell yeah, Chalky! And three losses. Team chemistry is amazing. Fantastic. That, I'm so excited to hear that. I want to cut down this picture before someone else gets over here and gets to it. I want to be able to have a good bit of logs in my uh, my storage chest for crafting and then a bunch for my territory to use for health. How many games do you do a season? some sulfur over here. Because I think the sulfur is used with the weapons, but I'm not sure. So what I might do, I might change up where these stairs are if I can't get up here. There we go. And then I might move, I might move these suckers up here. Oh, that rain. And then might, might move. Let's see, maybe put that there. Where did I put the... I gotta figure out where. Where the piping is. Okay, 
There we go. So we got. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. All right. So now as soon as they fill up, they'll go into the waste container. 32 games. So you have 13 left to play, not including playoffs and finals, which you will do absolutely fantastic on. Of that, I have no freaking doubt. Y'all are going to kill it. I haven't forgotten about your uh, ever so kind offer, Chalky. Just once I get the money to afford having a freaking uh, a P.O. box, I have that set up because I got I got the perfect spot already set up in my room where I want to display that. Didn't want you to think I, I forgot or didn't care. I was very touched. Okay, so let's see. Copper ingots. I can make 43 right now. Is that counting what? Hell yeah. Christmas party and you won awards? What? Get out of here. Killing it. Ninety-nine things of charcoal, then just make a crap ton of charcoal ingots, and we've got ammo. We've got ammo for our pistol. Right now, I only have three, so we've got the pistol for the primary. We've got the bow for the secondary, and then I have the bat for for the melee. So once we get all this copper done, I'm going to take some of it to use to make a few more copper arrows. Maybe make a few more rounds. Because I, I usually like going out for a while before, before coming back. Do I have anything for points? No, we've already completed was it four of these. Oh, yeah, there's also driving gear. And you can eventually, like, get yourself a garage and stuff like that. I wonder if you can set up essentially anywhere. So if you wanted to move closer to a town, if you could do that. Vacuum sealed it. You are too kind, Jockey. That's so badass. Copper ingots. Because this one. See, the, the crafting throws me off, though, because we've got these. So when I click it, it tells me what I what I need. Right, but then one time when I put them in there, they they went away. This stuff it disappeared, and then it said sometimes this will say like need advanced crafting bench. I don't, I don't know, confuses me. Weapon invigoration, weapon damage plus thirty percent for eight seconds. 
DE50 BP? That's different than what I have, right? This is 201. At 90 and... 190. And what was this? Damn. That is a, uh... That's a big jump. See, look at this. Craft at Advanced Weapons Workbench. So unless it's something that I find later, I don't have one of those right now. Unless it's tied to any of the memetics. Defeat the Great One inside the monolith. Is that what all of these are? Yeah. So this would be somewhere tied to the story. And I'm assuming maybe maybe that's where this comes in. I, I'm so glad it at least lets you see. Because, like, it doesn't hurt anything. And I've always liked being able to, like, like yeah, may, maybe some of the information about what it does or how to craft it may change or be hidden from you. But at least seeing, like, what's available so you can kind of, like, plan everything out. Yo, we could get special types of stairs. Getting excited. Portable mixed fuel spike traps. How's the break for streaming? It was very productive. Um, fiance was very supportive during it. She was always checking in with me to see if there's anything that she could do to help. Um, but I, I set aside stuff that I wanted to get done. I wanted to upgrade the look of the stream. I wanted to upgrade the panels. I wanted to streamline uh, what kind of bonuses and stuff people would would be able to have that I could at least offer for supporting with like subs what kind of like little games and stuff I wanted to do with the Valorous shards uh, just plugging away new updated panels and stuff I don't know if you saw the new intro to the channel that's new so a lot I was able to get a lot done um got two different let's plays up on the on the main youtube i was just like every day for as long as i as long as my health would allow me i was just plugging away creating more stuff and i've got a nice uh road map for myself i've got like stuff drawn out on dry erase boards and on notepads and stuff like that on how i want to how i want to move forward and especially like get 2024 by the neck get this done but thank you for asking yeah it was it was very much worth it i'm glad i did it i uh there's usually little stuff that i that i try to do from here on but there was there was always a part of me in my mind that felt like i was always playing catch up and it just hit me where i was like why don't i just take a break like why don't i just do it like right now take a break so i can focus get things how i want like all in one go as opposed to putting little band-aids here and there to try and uh fix stuff and I, i've been i've been very happy with it so far oh damn somebody's house is falling apart can i uh, let's see fortifications It's a powerful being that causes damage to anything that crosses its path. So I have to connect it to the territory, maybe? Oh no, let's go try it. You can't grow as a streamer unless you grow as a person and put stuff the way you need them. Yeah, very true, very true. Um, sometimes it's about 
uh, swallowing your your pride and admitting that you don't you don't know a thing or you don't know enough about a thing or going back and reanalyzing something and being like, okay, like maybe maybe I like it this way, but I need to be trying it this way kind of deal or it's like, okay, maybe maybe it's time that I try a different approach with this. Maybe I'm I'm brute forcing this this method too much. Um, because it's really easy sometimes too to where you like what's what's that phrase? It's like comparison is the death of joy or something like that. Um, but like you you see what other people are doing and it may inspire you. Maybe like oh you know that's really cool. And sometimes you know you you'll run into natural gates that'll be in your way that where it's it's just like an issue of like oh i could do this i have the idea for this but it costs money or it costs a lot of money um or i don't have the the specs to play this game or do this thing and then instead of just like feeling defeated and giving up figuring out okay well is there anything around that that type of idea or anything in this genre or maybe like can't really access this game right now but are there other games like it that you could show? So it's really like you you, you have to be willing to adapt. Um, and it, it's, it's, been, it's been an interesting challenge and one that I have enjoyed, uh, enjoyed trying and learning more about myself with all of that. So I'm wondering, like, how does this work? So this looks like it's red. Can it just be on the ground? Does it have to go... And I was like, what if I put it here? Insufficient materials. It's not telling me anything else, though. I don't have a power generation. So maybe for right now, I need... manual like physical traps like the spike trap for instance hmm I don't know y'all I don't know We got the copper. All right. Uh, wait, hold on. This is this is weapons. Not can I do? Can I do bow ammo here? Because there's a couple to where you do them separately. Yeah. See, this one is only. I guess you'd call it. Well, no, because a bow could technically be its kinetic weaponry too. So bullets bullets ammo and then supplies this is where you do the other types I don't want to use up all my metal scraps so let's do nine I also love that when you highlight the items it besides telling you what it is it tells you where you can get them Okay, cool. God, I forgot about that. You get you get 5 for each for each craft. So we're getting 45 copper arrows here. I should probably make another storage chest. Uh, let's see what was it in facilities storage? Oh, I can make a large crate. need standard parts I'll just make one of these and the day streaming is a business as well so a hobby you got to find the balance of what you want and need and what streams yeah and you gotta you gotta be able to find find the joy in it like it'd be very easy to just get lost in it because um, when I was first starting to stream 
I knew that I wanted to do, and I knew I wanted to have fun with it. And there were a lot of, like, self-help guide stuff where people were advising, being like, don't get in this thinking, like, you know, you'll make money. Because... Like, A, that takes a long time, and then B, like, you're just going to be stupidly frustrated. Because that's not how it works. What do I want to put in here? I'll, I'll leave the ammo. This this could be like crafting materials. I'm cu curious why the antibiotic is in. Is it just because? Hold on. If I put this here, no, it goes in there. Interesting. So I, I guess it's a material I can use for healing, while at the same time, uh, it's also a crafting resource. But anyway, yeah, so it's like, I, I, f I felt good with that getting into it, because it's like, well, I mean, would it be nice to be able to, you know, liaise with other companies, be partnered with other spices, and be like, paid to do this yes but first and foremost i just wanted to share my love of gaming i just wanted to have fun with people and it's, it's like it's like that saying goes where it's uh what is it like if you love what you do you'll never work a day in your life it's just everything else that sucks about being an adult like bills <laughs> medical crap All right, there we go. So we got a crap ton of arrows. Um, and I'm pretty sure it looks like I was very happy that you can have stuff in storage and still be able to craft, which really helps with your with uh, your weight load. I think that's everything. Um, insufficient spell. I don't know why I said, thought that said 18. I'm just going to put this in here for right now because apparently I can't disassemble it. So let's make. How much copper do I have? I can't check because I just went past my storage. Um,. Let's make let's make another pickaxe so that I won't have to worry about it breaking on me while we're out and about. Where is it? Copper pickaxe. We could go fishing too. Let's let's make one just in case, in case I come across. Make five things of bait. Just in case I come across somewhere to where it's supposed to be fishing. Or I could fish to get stuff. Does my flashlight have health? Does it, like, matter? What's up? Yeah, my flashlight's already uncommon rarity. Bill's getting all that stuff. Just give me all the monies and there's a limit. Exactly, right? Like, I'm just out here waiting to be like, would it, would it kill the universe to let me win the lottery? Like, I'm not going to lose my mind. 
I just want to be able to survive. Just let me let me afford my few my few subscriptions that I need for streaming and then the occasional viewing subscriptions that the lady and I use for streaming uh, to watch on the TV. Be able to take care, like pay off the car, get a house. Think about kids if we want. Get another dog for 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 her old dog. So they have somebody to play with. Boom. Done. It's like you ain't gotta worry about me after that. Okay. Uh let's split this up. So ammo. Weapons, survivability, uh, regular stuff. There we go. I think this stuff. Yeah, I think it just moved everything back. Does it not keep it the way I want? Okay, I think we're good. So then we can leave because I've emptied out most of my most of my inventory. I'm gonna go down here real quick. Put in the copper. Crap. I gotta, I gotta grab it from. Forgot, I, I can't pull it from here to put it in something else. Okay, so we'll deposit some here. We'll do twenty five. As you do twenty twenty seven. Okay, there we go. So copper-wise, there's enough for 42 days. Wood-wise, there's enough for, like, what is that? Five days? 174 times five? Hey, what's up, Go Cubs? 30 a year for... I've never heard of that. And that just, like, what? Just gives you access to, like, all the channels and whatnot? You may have to talk to me on Discord. Uh, hit a brother up with the 411 on that. <laughs> I may have to put a crap ton of wood in there. Hey, door. I said close. You silly door. All right, we got 109 arrows. All right, let's head over here to Overlook Town. Check out this area. There's a few things out here. Fabric. Random scraps. Random crops. Probably circle around. So then we'll hit Cape Manor. Teleportation Tower. Inspection Point. And then loop into uh, Throughville. So we'll go counterclockwise. Over 8,000 worldwide. Pay-per-view and over... Holy crap. Uh, does that gator look bigger to anybody else? Okay, go sleep. All right, let's go. We're going on an adventure. I should have probably made some more food. Let's grab some berries because I can make juice with that. And there's some foods that I can make right now. 
for whatever reason, there's certain foods that you can eat when you start off that drop your sanity. When your sanity drops to to half, uh, it starts affecting your your buffs and buffs. You also get a thing called a whim, which I I forgot to look up what it is. I'm assuming it's either a type of debuff or you balance like risk reward like it might help you be stronger in one area while sacrificing something else but it does it does also uh it brings down your health so you know that sucks Hey, hey, Ryu, what's up? Good to see you. Welcome back. Oh my god, I didn't fill my water. How am I how am I screwing up right now for you? Oh damn, this house is nice. Give me one quick second, y'all. I'm gonna go put some I'm gonna go put some water in my in my ninja. I will be right back. All right, I am back. Cheers to both Ryu and Go Cubs. Thank you so much. Cheers to you. All right. But yeah, so if y'all see this tent down here, right, right there, that's what you first start off with. And I had set up my tent uh, on, on the other side of all these settlements, not knowing how things were gonna, how things were gonna work out. Damn, that's nice. See that turret just took, dude, I wonder if you have to put in necessary materials for it to have ammo. That's really freaking handy. So it looks like it does have power. So I wonder if that goes up to the territory thing. It's a nice ass tent. <laughs> ah, yes. The wilderness Ryu would be able to appreciate that. But yes, yeah, so everybody starts off with these. 
So you have like a little stove. I don't know if you can lay down in the bed in there. And, and a little crafting thing. And it's supposed to like get you started. Damn, this person has a garage already. And their motorcycle. Got another gator over here. I don't know how... Sulfur seems to be the thing I have the lowest in, so... Let me grab some of these. But yeah, if, if y'all like games like these, open world, it's got like supernatural uh, bend to it. Actually, I'm going to use the pistol for this. So does the bow just overall do more? <gasps> Bat to the face! Uh, but yeah, y'all should definitely check this out. Once Human is the name of it. I only recently found out about this maybe like two weeks ago. And was trying to stay on top of information for it. And then was able to get my hands on a, a beta key. It's closed right now. So it's definitely worth it to... Because I, I think this is the last wave... For the beta before release, uh, which I'm not sure what the date is, but this this closed session goes until the 21st, the 21st or 22nd of February, not February of January, and that's it. Vinyl players like vinyl record players. I know that uh, one of my, like, definitely, like, passion things that I would get would be to spend money on one of those multi-use ones where it's, like, record player up top, radio, CD player. I always thought those are pretty badass. Oh, yeah, Chalky, Chalky's a vinyl person. They, they know. Organic but toxic. Achievement earned. Hawthorn berries. Yo, this place has a light coming out of it. Everything. What is going on here? Is this a camp camp or is this exploration? Okay, this looks look like exploration. Don't see anybody, but with it being so close to the other camps, it probably gets cleaned out a lot. Are you bad guys? Good guys? Oh, wait, hold on. Did I go the wrong way? Yes, I did, y'all. I went the wrong freaking way. I was trying to go to Overlook Town. Doggone it. 
gold gold is a uh, quest oh how did that miss You have to make sure to get lots of hide. Jackal, jackal, hide, jackal, hide, hide, jackal. Jackal, jackal, hide, jackal, hide. Oh, nice. Okay, so you do get the arrow back. I wonder if that's a timed thing. Like, if you wait too long, you're not going to be able to. What is that purple? Did y'all see that? What is that? Well, I tried everything. <laughs> I can't interact with it. Can't hit it. Well, I hit it and it doesn't do anything at least. Stack system is that is that the one that I was talking about where it's uh, on top of each other? That's what it sounds like. Yeah, happy New Year's to you as well, Ryu. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're able to end 2023 on a bang or with a bang. I guess that works both ways. On a bang, with a bang. That makes sense. see that huge orb that makes me think bad news welcome to overlook town there are a lot of zombies here headshot all right, let's see if I can't loot them if I walk over them. Okay, so you do get it back. Yo, so you could take somebody's uh, loot if they go down. I'm going to leave that. All right, I'll have to keep that in mind, then, that uh, you can get the arrows back so you don't necessarily need a crap ton, but I, I still want to err on the side of caution. Plunger. All right, time to go in big scary warehouse.
Hey, dude. This poor zombie. They must have died as an electrician, and they won't let the job go. Up there working on the lights. I'll leave you to it, bud. Just make sure to lock up when you're done. Fitness budget system, but they sound crisp. Both systems include speakers, which can be linked to an amp if you want to go surround sound. And Chalky knows this stuff. See where they fall. Nice, a lot of metal scraps. Can't go in through there. Let's get back. A lot of, a lot of acid. From my understanding, acid is very important for a lot of things. Blue water bottle. Hey, JJ, how are you? Happy New Year. Hope you're doing well. Hope you've had a good 2023. What server? Oh, you playing, uh, playing Once Human 2? How you liking it? Got any recommendations, things to try, things to, good things to craft, stuff like that. Anybody in the tub? No. Safest place to be. in here? Nope. No blanket. Fabric? Trash bin. Okay, so that's it for the upstairs. Hope there's a thing where you can... I'm assuming it's probably going to be something to, like, wear... Higher quality bows will have faster reload rates. That would be very nice. Hell, I'd, I'd love it if we could have different types of bows, too. Okay, that's it for right there. Nothing around here. What did it say this was on the map? Defeat one more normal enemy, find two weapon and gear crates, and find one mysterious treasure. Okay, so we came in from there and went around from the left, I believe. Is that Damn. 
Oh, God. Damn, we do a lot of damage. That and, like, see, I don't know if you all can tell. See that blue on the right half of the HP? That's that's affected by the, uh, by the sanity. I'm just going to go ahead and eat one of these. Definitely got to be careful of the stuff that's out here. Didn't heal me up. I'm definitely not trying to trigger all the enemies. Crap. Jellyfish, jellyfish. You boys got to be very careful in here. when this fully releases they allow you to remap every button ain't got squat uh, not having the ability to switch my F and my E for interact it's taking some getting used to it's not game breaking but it's like let me change it Is that is not a tarp blowing in the wind? Y'all see that? What the hell is that? Two hundred records? Damn! Got a supreme collection going on. What kind of genres does she like to listen to? Oh, that doesn't sound good. something in there I don't see anything <laughs> did you see that side keep out nah it wants me to keep out because that's where the good stuff is <laughs> Janice Joplin damn Somebody died here. I 
I know most people would probably just grab this stuff, but I'm hoping for the time, if I ever go down, karma will allow me to keep whatever I dropped, because people will leave it alone. Motorcycle. I don't know if I can use that though. Okay, so we've explored this area. I just have to check in there. We've explored the panorama. And there's all of that stuff over there. I think there's something on the other side of those bushes, though. Let's walk quietly. Something growled from this tent. I don't see anything right now, but something growled. Yo, signed Bob Marley. Nice. Did it get into the panorama? Oh, the panorama has a basement? No, I did not see that. Thanks for the heads up. Nah, Brody. No running up on me, brother. Okay, so I'm missing some arrows. I had 109. So we're missing five. So I must have missed walking over some bodies. How are you liking it so far, JJ? What level are you? You've been playing the uh, playing the heck out of it so far. Dust to dust, achievement earned. Also, like they have they have an ability here. Or you can pull stuff to you. You don't have to be right on top of it, which is really nice. Been playing since it became invite only. Oh, damn. All right. So you've been on top of it. Do you know when their official release date is going to be? Lots of acid, real nice. Doggone. Complete season's goals. Hello. Quarter two or quarter three twenty four. Damn, we're gonna have to wait a minute. Well, hopefully they use that time wisely to really polish the hell out of the game. This will be some other stuff before that. Um, because if it ends up being quarter three, first descendant will be out. Hopefully before that. And then I think uh, there's another game, like a steampunk supernatural. Nightingale goes early access in February, I believe it is.
Y'all in the UK about 30 minutes from the new year. Oh, damn. Yeah, time zones. They're a thing. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. Okay. So we got everything over here. Let's go check out that panorama basement. Making my way downtown, killing zombies, looting everything now. No, 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 no. Okay, so we need a fuse. No, 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 no. Who's got it? No, 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 no. Give it to me. No, 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 no. Phones up full. Yeah, I, uh, it was definitely an eye opener for me years back. I want to say like high school, like one of those things of privilege that I didn't even think to consider about like fireworks and veterans and stuff like that. Loading dock. Wonder, are there shotguns? Y'all be like, that's a fast moving zombie! Guess I know I'm heading to the right place. Hopefully, I didn't just loot everything down there. Gurgling, gurgling. I'm assuming that's from above me. Oh, what's this? Okay, activate fuse boxes first. Okay. So we need one mysterious treasure, another weapon crate. I'm assuming the uh, mysterious treasure is probably behind that door. What level is that thing? Don't be able to teleport, please. No teleport. Local town center had a huge fireworks show and didn't warn anyone. It triggered me and I lost it. Yeah, I... It's, it's so messed up because that's such an easy thing for people to be aware of and just do right by our servicemen and women. There's a couple places near us that, that do them. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different thing, but it's like our, our dog has problems with it. She's a, she's a rescue. Didn't have the best life before my fiancé found her. But that's one of those things, like, send out a letter to the community. Let people know. It's real easy. It's not hard to do right by each other. What's my capacity at right now? Okay, 62 out of 80. We're doing okay-ish. 
old movie. Uh, Ashley looked around, fidgeting in her seat. We tightly gripped our guns, our palms already sweaty. Their knees were weak. It was mom's spaghetti. Okay, I hear bad guys. Yep, see? Normally I like to read, but when zombies and stuff <laughs> popping out like that, I'm like, I don't have time. So I consider everybody doing a tough deal. Yeah, exactly. Like, it really is not that hard just to, like, give people a heads up. What the hell is that? Um, how do we help the, the doggo? There's, uh, you know, like those thunder jacket kind of things. Usually set her up with those beforehand. We did practicing to like using them outside of those situations to get her use is supposed to be like a like warm, warm hug, comfort kind of stuff. Um, sometimes there's like uh, like little food, like little like gel stuff that's supposed to have like a calming effect on dogs. We'll like give her a little treat beforehand. Or have the kind of thing to where, you know, like, using calming phrases and giving her treats uh, to, like, get her used to, like, it's okay, like, you're safe, we're here. I'm just trying to, usually making sure that she's, I don't remember if I went in this house already. Let her know, like, she's safe and she's with us and everything's going to be okay. She's gotten a little bit better. It, it definitely, it took some time. But she's, she's gotten a little bit better. Where generally, unless it's like a really bad show to where it's just loud as hell. And just going for a really long time, she's usually good. summon everybody what oh never getting that arrow back there goes my deposit Cut the toes off a sock over my dog's head so it blocks it. Was, oh, I didn't even think about that. That's smart. Shot. Getting a lot of loot, though. I ain't mad about it. All right, let's check out uh, first floor and let's check out upstairs. Is a restaurant? Getting a lot of materials. So the disassembler is going to get put to work once we get back to the house, for sure. Surprise your dog is fine with fireworks, especially in her old age. I, like, sometimes I feel like one part of it is you get lucky to where they just get so old and they're like, screw it. I mean, some of it might just be hearing. You know, you lose it and then can't be afraid of what you don't hear. Ours seems to be going in the reverse. The older she gets, her, her anxiety is skyrocketing. She's got a little bit of separation anxiety, too, from her mama. What the hell? What 
It was a freaking mimic. Uh, can I can I get this TV to go? Bring this back to the house. What's this called? Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Okay, we check this tent. We need to go in here. Nike TV, right? Nike has jumped into the electronics game business, y'all. Free Jordans with every purchase over 3K. Am I starting to get less arrows back? I feel like that's what's happening right now. Okay, so the top is boarded off. There's a teleportation center down there. Construction zombie said, praise the sun. Oh, hi. You know what? I'll just melee you. You're a little too close. A stapler. You believe you have my stapler? Oh, 544. There we go. There's the arrow. All right, so maybe some of these... I'm... It's not exactly on the body, and that's how I'm missing some of them. But thankfully, again, we made a crap ton. Can always make more. We're passing out. All right, Ryu, good to see you. Happy New Year's again. Let's make 2024 even better. Hope to see you in the next stream on Tuesday. Which I believe is like, what, January 2nd? But yeah, I wanted to make sure I got the chance to come in and hang out with y'all and do one last stream of the year. Yes, yes. Good night, Ryu. Get you some good rest. That's my eye itchy. We are getting a lot of acid. All right, so now we're now we're on the other side of where this concert was. We still need mysterious treasure and we still need the weapon crate. I don't know where else I could go. Seaweed rock? Interact with the teleportation tower in the main map or in a neutral sediment to activate it. You can fast travel between any two activated teleportation towers. You can also fast travel back to your territory from anywhere without spending energy links. That's good to know. At the teleportation tower, you can switch worlds, open world lists, and select one to switch.
There we go. Teleportation tower unlocked. I'm glad it doesn't cost energy. Open the journey screen. All right, fishing, craft fishing rod, craft fish bait. Now we just got to catch a fish, and then we've completed the fishing challenges. Activate a teleportation tower. Oh, damn, some people set up out here. Very nice. Yeah, they've got they've got this little spot to themselves. I wonder if they came out here after doing some exploring or found these places and then chose to uh, to move out here. See, if I could, I'd, I'd probably try and go up there, <laughs> build this nice little fortress, and then just start moving backwards. It looks like you can. I think that's a house up there. Where are these two objectives? It's about to get dark. Which means it's going to get dangerous. Okay. So there's this cul-de-sac. I went through here. There were these businesses over here. Is the repair shop. Oh, what was that? Hawthorne Berry. Banana tree. I wonder, like, do you get bananas from these, or is it just for the wood? Just the wood. Ooh, there's stairs that lead down over here. I wonder what the flowers are. I think they leave messages. I don't know how. We'll meet again soon. Emma, I know you are long dead. We'll meet again soon. I'm sorry I couldn't return to you in this life. I tried. I really did. There wasn't even a decent sam sampan on the pier. I tried to lash something together using some old plastic and right under the noses of those monsters with the blue lights, too. Just yesterday, I tried to sail the thing across to Mola Island to find you, but there were monsters in the sea, too, and the surface of the water was also covered with that spectral light. That light can drive people crazy or cause them to mutate. So in the end, all my effort, just like my pitiful attempt at crafting a boat, came to nothing. The waves swept me back to the overlooked town port. Oh, why couldn't the waves have carried me over to the other side, the side closer to you over on Mola Island? I'm in a bad way right now. I got myself covered in that spectral blue light while I was out at sea. I'm not sure why I haven't gone crazy like everyone else yet, or why I'm even writing all this. I hope you can forgive my strange appearance, my dear. We'll meet again soon. Somebody's got a house up over there. I think that's somebody else's house, too. Yeah, hell, I wonder if you can if you can come out right here. But it's also, I feel like you probably want to pick a place where you don't have to worry about being under constant siege while you still don't have all the necessary equipment to defend yourself. Curious what the server cap is. Whoa! Did y'all see that?
What the hell? I don't know if I want to, especially because it keeps disappearing. Is that tied to a quest? Only level three. Yeah, see, I didn't get any arrows back from that. Yeah, see, that, that's what worries me. I don't know if it's, like, supposed to be teleporting. The intrusive thoughts want me to shoot it to see what kind of damage I'll do. Oh, damn. This was just on the other side of where our house is. Well, look at that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to loot that from right there. All right, so we did get some raw meat, so I'm hoping we'll be able to put it in the in the dryer. Okay, let's check the meat dryer first. Can I? There we go. Tall metal frame. Okay, ideal for hanging meat out to air dry. Raw material input. Produce preserved meat. Input insufficient. So, do I need salt? Okay, grilled fish doesn't cause you to lose sanity. So I need seawater. Is that, uh, bottles, 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 bottles. Didn't I pick up bottles? I thought I did. I thought I, I thought I remember seeing that I had picked up and just said, it was like regular bottles, unless they were for attacking. Disassemble for low quality parts. Disassemble, disassemble. Huh. Okay, yeah, so broken bottles here. Can I get rid of these? Do these take up bag space? So I want to be able to make... I need to make food before we before we go to the quest location. So I guess I could do these. It's 15, 15 to health 
And this actually increases sanity. So let's make some of these. Red berry juice. Plus 30 to hydration, but re <laughs> reduces my sanity. And it decays over time. Do I have anything for meat? Roasted meat, big chops. I don't have to, how to get from oceans. All right, so let's eat some grilled mushroom. I am, like, so glad boiled water does so much for your hydration. That helps so frickin' much. I'm assuming probably the ability to unlock more stuff is going to get tied to once we progress the, progress the story. So, first, I'm going to try and see if I can walk up and get ocean water. See if that does anything. Actually, I'm going to go right here. I'm going to look it up real quick. So I'm assuming because I have, we have this, where is it? Sealed flask, a large and leak-proof leather sack for more efficient water collecting. Most of these are only in videos. Can you only get it from that spot? I hope not. It's like, let's see, does it say? So I'm assuming, because, like, look, all of this over here, right? Like, that's got to be count as ocean water. actually do this. Uh... Moving on down.
So I'm curious if it'll either make me go all the way out there or I'll, I'll be fine right here. One second, y'all. Let's try right here. Yeah, seawater, hell yeah. Wait, so can I can I keep doing that? We're both scared that someone's gonna like jump out and kill me. They got a cool little lighthouse up up there. Y'all see that? Up above, up above right here. Well, I'll at least get a hundred. Two more. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. It's really cool seeing different people creating all their different homes and stuff like that. This game has, like, a lot of potential. And I hope they're able to realize it all as time goes on. It's definitely going to be the type of game, same how it was for me with First Ascended, to where when it's done, I'm going to be like, oh, I want to keep playing. Somebody's turrets putting in work. All right, let's try it. Here we go, salt. Can make 21 of these. All right, while we're doing this, let's go down, take out a little gator friend. And then uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna wallpaper the house. Ah, dang it. Where did that arrow go? Alright, wallpapers... Brick. Ok, 
Can't see. I love that this doesn't cost anything, too. Like, that, that was nice. Hey, there we go. Brick below. Did I do the whole thing, brick? I think it look, I think it looks nice with the the wood up top. What other things could I have for the walls? Yellow checkered brick, maybe. cement peacock print American vintage I kind of like it the way it is all right salt is done Yep, there we go. Okay. So the question is, how long does this take? And then I'll probably... We could put something here for food materials. Another thing I would love to see them do is have it to where maybe you can, instead of needing to move your character to move the item, just take over the control of the item so you can place it and rotate it wherever. Because having to like move your character just the right way to have it on the, what is that, the x-axis? Unless there's an extra control that I'm missing. All right, so food that I'm not sure what to do with yet will go in here. So shellfish, seaweed. Actually, can I put all of this stuff in here and still cook? Let's see. So I've got got the hawthorn berry. Let's see. Will it still let me? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. So I'll make three of these. Boiled water. Um, I guess let's do 20. Item insufficient? What? I have enough wood and I have enough dirty water. I'm confused. What happens if I try to make just one?
do I need to have it on me for water, maybe? Let's let's try it. Let's see. So wood. What was the other thing? Wood and dirty water. Oh wait, hold on. Did I put it in here? I just didn't see it. This is acid. I can get more in there. Hopefully this works. Item insufficient. So... Let's... Maybe, okay, maybe it's because I don't have as many that I have on me. So we'll do under 100 each. There we go. Okay. So you have to have the exact amount on you to do the boiling water. I'll be right back. Hold on a second. Perfect time for uh, be right back, actually, because I'm going to run to the bathroom. Um, the dog is crying, so I got to go check to see, see if they need to be let out to go pee real quick. And we're back in just a minute. Uh, gonna throw up an ad to get rid of pre rolls for anybody who isn't subbed or doesn't have Twitch Turbo. It's the only time mid rolls will get run is when I have to step away for stuff like this or, you know, get them walk around or take some meds for my health. Um, but yeah, besides that, it's only the the pre roll. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. So take this time, grab yourself some water or refresh your drink, get up and stretch, and we'll be back in just a couple minutes.
All right. We back. We back. Get the stuff finish. Oh, yeah. 33 things of water. Let's disassemble some crap. I think this is all stuff that it's okay to okay yeah can disassemble yeah 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 okay I'm gonna get a lot of stuff 108 adhesive 62 plastic 125 metal scrap 61 rubber 114 shabby fabric 41 rusted parts that space and then once we finish here we'll head out and then go to go to the quest location so i'm curious if there's anything we'll unlock there that'll be able to help us don't have like a crazy amount of stuff to eat right now hopefully that meat will come through though you know i got one dirty water left is that what i saw yeah might as well so how many do I need? Three? Never mind. That dirty water's gonna have to wait. I don't think you can repair your tools. Which is unfortunate. But I have I have another one sitting there ready to go. Uh why am I having a brain fart right now forgetting what it was that I was getting ready to do? Okay. I wonder if it's going to do one at a time or all of them. It's probably just going to do one at a time. Am I forgetting anything? I don't know. Let's check out. Do I have anything in Journey? Alright, we'll be able to finish this. Chef will be done. Season goals. Crack shot. Destroy 30 charred maniacs helmets. Claimed. I'm trying to get this. The last valor. Use a crossbow to defeat an enemy 40 meters away. Use a sniper rifle to defeat an enemy 80 meters away. Use a sniper rifle to defeat 100 enemies. Defeat one player. Take down five bears. Explore six settlements. Is this the same thing? Ten weapon blueprints. Ten weapon blueprints. Is it all for this? So what is that? Eight? So 80? Interesting. Five achievements. So I think memetic wise, we kind of sitting pretty right now. Decorative lamps. Healing bandage, craft on synthesis bench. I think I'm pretty good on healing right now, though. Logistics. Yeah, so I guess let's uh let's head out. We're still good on arrows. 
Oh yeah, we're hella good on pistol ammo. I'll ignore how my voice just cracked there. We're hella good. Oh jeez. Alright, so prioritizing berries, sulfur. Tin. Good on copper, but I'm a type to where like that doesn't mean I want it to get dangerously low. Assuming 10 is going to be the next upgrade for tools and things. I also need to get in the habit of leaving some stuff running while I head out. Tin ore is repulsing me. That's why you close to just. Ooh, also, while I remember, uh, reminders if any of you are playing any Blizzard games and got your Battle.net thing, make sure you switch over to the mobile authenticator so you don't have to deal with going through customer support because you can't get uh, access because they're, they're going to be shutting down the OG authenticator as well as if you're playing Destiny, make sure you finished your, your dawning requirements as well before the second. I like that it automatically starts using the next pickaxe. It's like so many little things that they've they've done right. See now why I didn't even do anything. Why are you starting stuff with me right now? I could look at that to see. Let's see if it has needs ammo or anything. Okay, so they've they've beaten uh beaten a boss because they have the curved staircases. starting stuff. Sort of spawn rate, at least in my opinion, seems real nice right now. Another thing that's nice too that is like inconsistently used in other games, like Destiny is a good example, Division is another good example, is the usage in games like this for both. Uh, text information, but also cutscenes and voiced characters that you see like AAA games, especially like Western AAA games, unless it's an adventure game, like don't put the time in for. And I feel like that's the beginning of when games like that, at least narrative wise, start to suffer. 
because corners get cut. I wonder how much you can hold per slot in storage. I'm going to assume usually like $9.99. Make it an even thousand, stuff like that. Oh, Ouroboros, good name. Hoping to be able to at least unlock more advanced uh, upgrades. Stop Here right we go. There. Ah, who are you? Where are you from? Show you're no threat. Hey, calm down. If I came here to attack you, you'd be dead already. Now put that thing away, all right? Fine. You don't look like a vulture anyway. Uh, but who are you? Just a lost traveler in the wilderness. Saw the light of your fire, thought I'd come take a look. Well, then you're not alone. Most folks here got trapped out in the wilderness and ended up seeking shelter. Is this the right voice ah, for in, the dialogue? Man. We got bunks by the campfire, and we pooled what food we have. Uh, just put your gun away, and they'll be glad to share with you. <laughs> All right, gun away. Oh, okay. So, energy link is the currency? What the fuck? Right? Like, I'm just like, that's... I don't think they... I, th I think... Uh, unless, like, that, the NPC that you run into is randomized? Like, I don't... That's not the right... I don't think you got that... I don't think you lined that up right. Wubus, you lay down. Come on, I'm trying to finish my stream. Lay down. Go on. Lay down. <laughs> Willie Nelson vibes. <laughs> Y'all, hold on a second. She's uh, the anxiety's kicking in, so I gotta. I need to move her. I set up a little dog bed spot for her in here. I need to move it closer to me. It's it's crazy. I was like, the little stuff like that will make a difference.
There we go. Good girl. Uh, sorry about that, y'all. Okay, so let's move this back some. Y'all still hear me all right? How's the volume? Okay. So, hold on. Cactus juice. 20 hydration, 50 sanity. Roasted potatoes. Activators. Oh, cool. Does this tell me how many I have? That's nice. I was going to get uh, supply back. Okay. Larry Duval. Okay. Gather three plants in the Dayton Westlands. Use one Molotov cocktail or other tactical item in the Dayton Wetlands. Make one dish on the stove. Find and loot one weapon crate or armor crate from any settlements. Damn, so I should have been. See, this is what I do normally open world. I just take off and then just start adventuring. <laughs> so, damn, but if I had come done this first, I'd been knocking this stuff out. Hey, 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 where you going? Where you going? Hold on, y'all. She's leaving the room. Okay. I'm gonna try and bribe her with a treat. Hopefully that helps. Okay. Meal prep. Gather three plants. Severin. Oh, hello. Okay, so these, I saw this currency in one of, like, the double-digit areas. You can get weapons and furniture stuff from him. Alright, so is this it? On this side? See anything you like? I'm always open for business. I remember this video game. I used to play it. Video game. <laughs> I always thought it was some surrealist piece of art. Oh, damn. It's probably not as valuable as I thought then. Still, I'm glad to meet someone so well-informed in this backwater. My name's Claire. Claire Lay. Normally, I'm a wandering merchant, but now I'm stuck here like everyone else. What just happened? That was not the correct dialogue. I ran into a lot of beasts. And what are they called? Deviants on my way here too. It's some of this, I'm sure, it's probably it. you smart, translation you errors. The problem is the deviation. The deviation. Yep, 
Anytime someone around and apparently I'm Santa Claus. They just run out of whatever they have. Gas, electricity, you name it. So they end up stuck here. You see this old beater next to me? It only took her half a tank of gas to take me and my babies here all the way from the north to the east coast. Then I hit the wetlands and BAM! No matter how many gallons I put in, it wasn't enough. It's not just cars. A freshly charged battery will run out of juice in a couple of minutes. And just heating up a can of beans could drain a whole fuel canister. Strange. Do you think it has anything to do with that big tower north of here? Whatever that building is, it seems to be using a lot of energy. I don't know, but I'd stay away from there. That's one of the monoliths left behind by Rosetta. I hear those things are full of traps and deviants and... Who knows what else? But you know what? I heard a rumor about a nearby town. Thirty years ago, it had a family-run business. If you know what I mean. Collecting protection money. Then, that family and the rest of the town died during Starfall. A family business? What's that got to do with anything? I mean, they were gangsters, kid. The whole town was mobbed up and they leached the area dry. Now the same thing's happening today. You mean ghosts are causing these problems? No offense, Claire, but anyone ever tell you that you've got an overactive imagination? I love when people in crazy situations downplay things that would be less crazy. We literally fought a radio tower that was merged with a giant mutated human body. But ghosts are where you draw the line. Location of the abandoned town. Go there and you'll find something for sure. Wait. Why do you think I'd go there? Well, you're a mayfly, aren't you? I used to see some of your comrades out on the road, and they all have the same light-up backpack. Just think of it like I'm hiring you to sort out this deviation for us. I'll talk it over with everyone here and scrounge together a reward, if you can solve this problem. All right? Okay. Got an interesting little, uh group here. Oh, hold on. Bird wants to talk. Oh, or not. I don't know why it was showing up. Oh, we got some portable mixed fuel. Obtained by completing workshop, defend, or world search. Okay, so we got level five here. But, uh, what is... Oh, my God. Is this all of where we could go? stuff to collect. Oh, peppers. What was that K to track? No, it was Y. I think it was Y. Or not. Yeah, track task. Why?
Gather three plants. Cook one dish. Find and loot one weapon crate. Kill three deviants. Hunt two animals. One Molotov cocktail. All right, so there's gators back by the house. Crate. Oh, damn, we need to eat. All right, that's it for that. Hopefully nobody's taken out the the gators yet. I know the hawthorn berries are on the other side of the river, so I'll be able to grab those. Who could pass up on all this ore? I mean, come on now. Right here, gator. Yep. one there's the big one all right so that's meal prep daily challenge done Survive the wetland. See? It's all going to work out together. Alright. Head back to the house. What's left? Three deviants. A weapon crate. Make one dish on the stove. Then we also be able to drop off the ore and stuff that we've picked up. Damn, look at that. They got a little garage and stuff. Oh, they went with the wide, wide one level. Three turrets.
I guess you could do two baked chopped. Heck yeah. Let's see what we got for meat now. Oh, cured and air dried food that lasts long but reduces hydration. After pickling and air drying, the limited protein source can be preserved for a long period, becoming less tasty, but highly reliable food preserve. All right, so it gives us energy. We don't lose any sanity, but we do lose hydration. I'm fine with that trade-off. Let's see, Pathfinder, complete a commission. Chef, there we go. So that's done, and then we get the chef reward. There we go. So what is that, five? Yep. Five journeys done. Or journey sections. Craft an activator. Use any throwable once. Looks like you go do that real quick. One antibiotic, one glass, five rubber, one acid, and one boiled water. That's fine. Okay. Then we'll use a uh, we'll use a Molotov on the gator. Try and lure him away. Come here, buddy. Come here. They just burst into flame. What? Nah, that hit should have gotten off. Croc got lucky. Let's see, let's see what the food does. And not bad, I like that. Okay, that scared me for a second. I thought some broke. Okay, so when we come back, we're gonna head out with the other missions. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead. I was going till eight anyway, so we're gonna be ending like six minutes short. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. The fiance had to run out. We forgot uh, an ingredient. 
for the dessert we were going to be making together tonight. So she ran out to go get that, and that's extra adding to Piper's anxiety. So she she is she is a screaming and the crying, and being being in here uh, is not is not bringing her peace. We have to go out to the couch and relax, or maybe I'll take her out for for a walk before noises and stuff get too bad. So at least we're able to make it for for most of the stream. And like I said, at least for this week, we're going to be doing, it's going to be once human. It's going to be new title spotlight happening this week. So when we come back, we're going to be doing more quests. We're going to be unlocking more stuff. Uh, I'm going to be doing some research to figure out uh, if there's, if it's tied to the quest or if it's something I just need to go explore out to get for unlocking the memetics for the, this stuff. Defeat the great one inside the the monolith and stuff like that. If it's tied to a certain level, or if I just need to just keep doing what I'm doing and level and leveling up. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. And I'm excited to be playing more of that with you. I'm just excited to be back. So uh, a happy New Year's and a happy holidays. If the countdown hasn't finished to you already, especially love y'all so much. Hope that y'all continue to you know keep coming to check out the channel and enjoy growing here as we grow together as a community and just find out more stuff yeah dude doggles are fair. oh yeah definitely that's that's our baby gotta gotta do right by her because you know at a certain point they can't advocate for themselves they can't speak english we don't fully know you gotta go off of body language and you know anybody would be stressed in those positions and when you're able to help you gotta be able to help so yeah i'm gonna speed speed through this so Hopefully be able to provide her uh, some more comfort, uh, especially before the fiance gets back, because that just adds to her separation anxiety. But yeah, uh, three most important things, as always, y'all, is I hope that each and every one of you will be well. Hope that each and every one of you will take care. And remember that I will see you all again soon, Tuesdays and Thursdays this week. We're trying the new time slot. Remember, 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern time, Sundays and Saturdays at 5 Keep an eye out on the Discord and everything. It looks like the new uh, alert work to let people know. And I will see you all Tuesday stream for some more chaotic open world action. Y'all be safe. Stay happy, stay healthy. And I'll see you then. Adios.